I saw these etch sketch artworks online, and to be honest, I don't have the skills to do this by hand, but I do have the skills to build a robot to make these pictures for me. I bought an etch sketch two stepper motors, and I'm using a Raspberry Pi to control everything. The first step is to figure out how to connect the stepper motor to the dial on the etch sketch These dials come off to reveal these small knobs. I can 3D print an adapter to connect these knobs together, but I need a way to hold the stepper motors in place so that it does not freely rotate. These two holes on the stepper motor is perfect for this. My first attempt at this was not successful. You can see that I miscalculated the length of the base plate, so I did what anyone else would do. Snap it in half and hot glue it onto the etch sketch It turns out that the stepper motor was too weak and too slow to turn the knobs without slipping, so I'm going to trash version 1 and buy better parts. I looked on Amazon to find two larger stepper motors. I thought that because it showed three stepper motors in the picture, three would come in the mail. I only got one. So while I wait for the other stepper motor to ship, I designed the base plate and knob adapter for version 2. I thought that it was a pain to take these knobs off every time I wanted to use a machine, so I designed an adapter that goes over the etch sketch knobs. After many failed attempts, 7 in total, the next two fit perfectly. I also upgraded the base plate to hold the stepper motor in place with screws, so it's a lot stronger now. Now that my other stepper motor came in the mail, we can start testing. If you want to support the channel, the link is in the description. Anything helps. Thank you so much. Also, 99% of my watch time is from non-subscribers, so you already know what to do. Anyways, I need to take some measurements of the Etch-a-Sketch. The screen is roughly 153 millimeters in length and 107 millimeters in width. I measured the line width to be around half a millimeter, so that gives the Etch-a-Sketch a resolution of about 300 by 214 pixels. To draw the image, the first step is to resize an image to fit the Etch-a-Sketch and then convert it to pure black and white pixels. One drawback of the Etch-a-Sketch is that there's no way to move the dial without making a mark. You can see that the dog has different regions of pixel clusters. This needs to all be connected for the etch -a sketch to properly draw the image. We can first remove all of the clusters that have less than 8 pixels just to clean things up a bit. Then we can connect the clusters together. I use a pathfinding algorithm to trace a path that connects all clusters while minimizing the number of white pixels traveled across. We convert the image back to black and white and the final step is to convert the image into one single path. Without getting too technical, I use a depth first search to travel along the black pixels and I use a pathfinding algorithm to backtrack every time it hit a dead end. Now we need to convert this path into instructions that the stepper motors can follow to draw the image onto the Etch-a-Sketch. To do this, we need to take a few more measurements. It takes roughly four and a quarter turns of the left dial to span the length of the Etch-a-Sketch, and about three turns to go from top to bottom. The stepper motor takes 200 pulses of electricity, or steps, to make one full rotation, which equates to 850 steps horizontally and 600 steps vertically. I use a formula to convert the pixel coordinate of the image to the stepper coordinates and save the instructions into a text file. We send the instructions to the Raspberry Pi and we are left with this. And yeah, we're gonna start drawing the dog. You can see that this is going pretty fast. Um, this video is not sped up. This is in real time. And it took the stepper motors about two minutes to finish the drawing. Um, I don't wanna talk too much. I just want you guys to look at the final result. The um, stepper motors did get really hot and they were producing a lot of noise and vibrating a lot, but uh, it was it was working great. So I'm really excited about that. Anyways, I'll stop talking now. Um, yeah, you guys can watch. This is very satisfying.
And lastly, we finally hit a thousand subs. Uh, I'm so excited. Um, YouTube doesn't seem too excited because I don't get a play button for a thousand subs. So I'm gonna create my own play button. And designing this was actually pretty difficult because I'm not very good at Photoshop, but I think this came out really good. So again, I don't wanna talk too much. I can let you guys enjoy the sounds, the ASMR sounds of the motor shaking. And yeah, I'll let you guys listen to this and look at the final result. And I'm going to hang it up right here on my wall.